All I can say is Maine, 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 Maine. I love Maine. It's that time of year in September, we go up there bear hunting every year. The state of Maine is so beautiful in the fall, it's just magnificent. It's just a state all by itself. It stands alone in this great nation, and I love it. I'm Ron Bellin, call sign Reaper Zero One. Welcome back to another episode of Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt. Man, have we got a special one for you. All I can say is Maine, 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 Maine. I love Maine. Everybody that knows me knows I love Maine. The reason I love the great state of Maine is just because it's that time of year in September, we go up there bear hunting every year. The landscape, the wilderness, you know, the wild animals they have up there, the whole nine yards, it's just, it's like going to a whole different planet compared to Virginia or Pennsylvania or, you know, out west or down south towards Texas. It's just a state all by itself. It stands alone in this great nation, and I love it. We're gonna head back in the woods. We're gonna set up a base camp. And then later on, we're gonna link up with the owners of Seal One. Seal One is a lubricant cleaner all-in-one system, and we're fortunate enough to have them as one of our sponsors. Not only that, they're really good friends. They have property up here in Maine, and that's where we're gonna be hunting. So let's get in the woods, set up base camp, and see what we see. So this year, Scott Lee, owner of Seal One, had invited us up here. He's a Maine resident. He's also a Maine guide. So he said, hey, Ron, we'll go up here, come on up, go bear hunting, and we'll do it. We'll bait the bear for you. We'll get all that done. We'll pre-bait before you get up here. And you guys just roll in. Something coming. River coming downstream. <laughs> well, we scouted this one area by a stream, and the stream was just loaded with some fish, little fish, so we knew we'd have food. It also had water, so we had food, water, and now all we need to do is provide the shelter. We're gonna establish this area by first building an A-frame type structure with a tarp between these two trees. They're a perfect distance apart, as you can see, between my arms. It gives me plenty of leg room and storage room for equipment. On top of that, we'll build another little shelter, and it'll just be a tarp draped, just so we can store our clothes, and wind gets through there all day long, so it keeps our scent away from our hunting clothes. And all it was was a tarp, and the tarp actually pitched up over this pole, and the pole that I cut was a pine pole. Now you'll notice the thing about a pine pole, anytime you cut pine, what's one problem you can have with wrapping it with anything? Pine pitch. And that stuff starts oozing out and gets real sticky. So we took all the ferns that we could, as many ferns as we could, and all I did was lay those ferns up on top, and I just wrapped them with the guts of that 550 cord, that paracord. All the shelters up, gears put away. Right now, I got my little bed roll out, take a little siesta, and then go link up with uh, Seal One guys and see where we're going to be bear hunting. Well, right now, we're linking up with Scott and Dwight from Seal One. We just got done setting up base camp, and we're going to link up with these guys, go shoot, make sure the weapons are on, and next thing you know, we're out in the woods and we're bear hunting, baby. That's right. And here we are. Dwight? Ron, how are you? We link up with Scott and Dwight and we see the factory or you know in the warehouse where they do everything so it's all pretty cool how it's all done. We got to meet people at work for him. We also got to meet his family. Now Dwight's an old team guy, an old SEAL. We have a great time when we get together. So we went to the range, just sighting in. We did a lot of shooting that day, made sure all the guns were on. down and then we got done there and we rolled back and and got ready to go hunting reaper outdoors survive the hunt is being brought to you by 1791 gun leather amending the gun leather industry one holster at a time 1791 gunleather.com grunt style patriot shirts and apparel Seal One Cleaner, Lubricant Protectant Plus. 
Lehigh Defense. Latest technology in bullet design. Special Operations Wounded Warriors. SOWWCharity.com. Reaper Ammunition. Control your chaos with every shot. Magnolia Hunting Supply. One-stop shop for all your tactical, hunting, and survival needs. SEAL Legacy Foundation. Concrete Inc. Turn your concrete floor into a masterpiece. Kill Cliff. Clean recovery and hydration. Strike Force Energy. Energy that hydrates healthy. And Miltac Knives. For more information regarding Reaper Outdoors, go to ReaperOutdoors.com. The website is full of products, apparel, ammo, Reaper collectibles, Reaper hot sauce, and more. Also, don't forget to follow Reaper01 on social media. This portion of Reaper Outdoors is being brought to you by Seal One Cleaner, Lubricant Protectant Plus, 1791 Gun Leather, amending the gun leather industry one holster at a time, and Terrace Alliance, veteran, first responder, and Patriot-owned businesses coming together to support each other. We're done with the range. We're getting ready to go out on the bear hunt. I just want to ask Dwight how he feels about the Reaper Signature 308 that he just shot on the range. It's awesome. Right? I mean, it is a very comfortable, can't even, you don't feel it's a 308. Right. The uh, recoil yeah. is almost non-existent. Yeah, the recoil is nothing on this weapon. That's what we liked about it with several prototypes. So now it's on the market, of course. And then we have the new 300 Blackout Reaper signature rifle. And I'm going to actually use this on a bear with a 110 grain bullet. So it's a 300 blackout, 110 grain. It's called Control Chaos, Reaper Outdoors Ammunition. So let's go out there and go bear hunting and see how we do. Excellent, because I think shooting with this one, being in the tree stand, yeah. I don't have to worry about getting knocked out. <laughs> well, we're both going to be a tree stand, so let's see what happens. Bigger bear, a dollar? Yeah. All right, there you go, You're folks. On. Bigger bear, a dollar. It's Reaper Zero One and Dwight Soto with Seal One out here in Maine, undisclosed location, on a bear hunt. Everybody seems to think that when you're baiting bear, it's easy. Not so. It's just another tool that people go out, especially up in the state of Maine. It's so thick, the forest is so thick, that literally if you sat on these trails, you, you, your chances of getting a bear are slim to none, to be honest with you. So they use dogs and they use bait up there. Now growing up in the state of Pennsylvania, all that was illegal. We didn't believe in it. I grew up not believing in it, thinking it was the worst thing in the world. But I'll tell you what, once I got older and I started paying attention to what was going on in the world and having that open mind and actually going out and doing it myself, I realized it's just another tool. It gives you a slight advantage, but believe it or not, not much. Because we hunted and we hunted hard. And I've been on a couple hunts up there where I didn't see a bear one. They were coming in at night on the bait and we weren't getting an opportunity, not one. So it's not 100% guaranteed. And I don't care what anybody tells you up here, nothing's 100% guaranteed. Scott Lee is a great woodsman, he's a great guide, and he had these beautiful places set up for us. Now we had one in particular we really wanted to do because the distance was far away, so he went out and he did different things. He did the burn pot, you know, honey burn. Where that's where they take honey and they burn it down and that scent goes in the air and the bear come running to it. And no bear came, not one. Another thing, you know, we had uh, all the goodies out there and the bear's been coming every night, tearing it up during the day. Not one bear. Closed captioning for Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt is being brought to you by Magnolia Hunting Supply. One stop shop for all your tactical, hunting, and survival needs.
Well, this is the first time that I've actually worn the 1791 leather holster. It feels very, very comfortable, and the quality of work is outstanding. Double stitching the whole way through, and it's even reinforced on the front end where you need it so it holds its shape and form. You see the whole holster and everything moving? That means it's snug in there. It's not working its way out. This is a holster that I'm going to use on my hunts. Reaper Ammunition and Lehigh Defense have teamed up to provide the latest technology in ammunition. Lead-free Lehigh projectile stability accuracy. This ammo penetrates hide and bone, expands upon hitting wet tissue, maintains max energy in cavity, shuts down the central nervous system, maintains 60% of bullet weight for exit. Control your chaos, collect your kill. Reaper Outdoors Ammunition. This portion of Reaper Outdoors is being brought to you by Seal One Cleaner, Lubricant Protectant Plus, 1791 Gun Leather, amending the gun leather industry one holster at a time, and Terrace Alliance, veteran, first responder, and Patriot-owned businesses coming together to support each other. For six or seven days, we sat out there, I even losing track of time because it was just, at times, miserable. The rain came one day so bad, we, got, we, had, a, we had thunder, we had lightning, and we had to get out of that tree stand. Well, we got back here to our camp, and when you know it, no rain got inside, thank gosh. Heavy storm came in while we were getting here, kind of wrapped the camera up. We even had a little bit of lightning roll in while we were in the stand. So it got too dark to see anyway. So we wrapped that camera up, got out of there, and got back here. It's been a hard hunt. You know, everybody thinks that baiting bear is easy. You can just go in, bait a bear, shoot a bear. It doesn't work that way. We've been at a bait site for three days, haven't seen one bear. It's been hitting every night. The hitting means that it's been cleaning out all that chocolate and donuts or whatever he's putting in there and taking it away, eating it. But he's not doing it while we're there, that's for sure. Bear are very sneaky. So for all you people out there that say, man, I would never do bait hunting, well, you ought to get out there and try it. It's still an adventure. You still have to go know what you're doing. You still have to do scent control. You have to be quiet and you have to be still. You're still hunting. And it's not a guarantee that you'll get an animal. Now, for the bedtime routine that we have here, we got into camp. As soon as we got here, you know, made sure our bed rolls were out. We got out of our wet clothes or damp clothes. They really weren't too wet. We got pretty lucky. And then we got into our dry clothes, non-hunting stuff. We set our boots up for success, so they're right beside us. So we're good to go. We set our rucksacks behind us for pillows. And we're gonna tuck in for the night. It's 74 degrees right now, which is amazing, because in Maine, it's supposed to be like 50s. At night, at least, and it's not. It's been really warm weather. So hopefully tomorrow it'll cool down a little bit with this rain. We don't know. Tomorrow's our last day. And we'll see if we get on it. Dwight couldn't spend it out time out in the field. He had work to do. And that's fine, we understand that. So him and Scott are back there doing seal one business. So they have good product for you guys out there. Well, I'm Ron Bell and tucking in for the night. Reaper Zero One, out. <music> Nothing better than waking up to a running stream, the sun coming up through the canopy, showing the trees, the greenery. It's just beautiful. Feeling good this morning. It's our last day of the hunt, but we're gonna stick to our normal routine. And that's washing up and then go catch fish for breakfast. Ain't nothing like having a collapsible rod when you're in the backwoods. You can go out and catch a fish and see how we do. Oh yeah. Well, we got a pickerel and we got a bluegill. That's the two fish. I tied them on this stick. Something a little bit different this time. Jared, who's running the camera on this trip, ended up starting to fire. And on top of that, he got himself a nice frog. Sitting here at camp, watching the fire and everything. And the frog come hopping through, so I took advantage of it. I grabbed him. He's going to be breakfast. So, really easy to skin. Really easy to clean. Very tasty. Like to say, almost tastes like chicken. He ate it, but he did save me a leg. It was really good. So we have some food, and that's uh, that's good. Nothing wrong with that. It wasn't hard to catch a couple 
perch or uh, bluegills or you know a couple of fish that we could actually eat and just put on the fire. No salt, no pepper, just all natural. It's very, very good. And so that kept us going really well. This is a nice little bass right here. As you can see, these fish are a dime a dozen in this pool. That's just telling me there's no big ones here. They're just here. Almost every cast get these little suckers. Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt is being brought to you by 1791 Gun Leather. Amending the gun leather industry one holster at a time. 1791GunLeather.com Grunt Style, Patriot Shirts and Apparel, Seal One Cleaner, Lubricant Protectant Plus, Lehigh Defense, Latest Technology in Bullet Design, Special Operations Wounded Warriors, SOWWCharity.com, Reaper Ammunition, Control Your Chaos with Every Shot, Magnolia Hunting Supply, one-stop shop for all your tactical, hunting, and survival needs. SEAL Legacy Foundation. Concrete Inc. Turn your concrete floor into a masterpiece. Kill Cliff. Clean recovery and hydration. Strike Force Energy. Energy that hydrates healthy. And Miltac Knives. For more information regarding Reaper Outdoors, go to reaperoutdoors.com. The website is full of products, apparel, ammo, Reaper collectibles, Reaper hot sauce, and more. Also, don't forget to follow Reaper01 on social media. This whole week has just been crazy with weather, it's been too hot, you know, it never was right. And not one time did we have a bear come in, not once. Well, Jared had to take off. He had to go home, he had a he has a family and a whole nine yards. And I wanna thank Jared for actually coming out and filming for us. That was a, uh, a great thing on short notice. And he came out and did it for us. Well, I took Jared down to uh, Bangor, took him, sent him off on the airport, and he took off. And I had to head out to uh, out west actually to hunt for a week. So I did that, left my truck in Maine, and I went out west and went elk hunting. When I got back from elk hunting, I got in my truck and I headed up to see Matt White Giver, owner of Eagle Mountain Guide Service, because it was the Sal Week, Special Operations Wounded Warrior. We had 10 wounded special operators coming in and I'm up there just helping out. It's all I'm doing. So when I'm done for the day, helping them out, getting them out the door, whatever help's needed. Then that afternoon I get a chance, I got three bait sites that he had out there nobody was gonna use and they were mine. As I was heading out there, got done working with the guys, everything's good to go, I'm on my time. I rolled out there, and I'll tell you what happened. An amazing story here. Half hour goes by. I got my schmog over my head, like I'm just covered. Mosquitoes all over, I get sun coming in. Ugh, you know, it's just one of those uncomfortable days. But who cares? I'm hunting. That's, I'd rather be out uncomfortable in the woods than uncomfortable in an office, ain't it? And all of a sudden, I see that nose, that bare nose, boom, it sticks out. I'm like, yes. My heart starts beating. Boom, 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 boom. You know why I'm nervous? Because I hunted nine days. Now it's been over nine days and I haven't seen a thing. I thought bait hunting was easy, people. No, it's not. You know, I don't wait around. When it's on the camera and when it's the rifle's on and everything's on, I'm shooting. I am not sitting there watching the bear work and run off. I'm not doing it. I have an opportunity to take the shot. Guess what? Boom, it's going down. Down now, I ain't messing around. All right, guys, here's my story. It 
And that's how it's done, boys. Now keep my eye on the bear. That's it, folks. I'm done. I control my chaos. I reap my rewards. That's our saying. And guess what? That bear was clean, shot, clean, killed, cleaned out, and clean cooked. That's right. So it was killing time. And I was never so happy. Whew. I just did it with the Reaper 300 Blackout. And this control chaos from Reaper Outdoors will knock that bear down every time. In the state of Maine, the average bear is 150 pounds. You're not coming here to hit a thousand pound bear. There's no way. Or even a four or 500 pound. They're there, but they're rare. I shot it with the 300 Blackout Reaper rifle. Right here it is, folks. Also, with the 300 Blackout ammunition from Beck Ammunition called the Reaper Control Chaos. This bear put his head down, whack. Got it. Nice, tight, close, easy round. Goes in, comes out, and explodes every organ in the body. You gotta love it. It's a knock it down, take it out. Good time for good vittles. Reaper Zero One on the kill. Thank you for watching another episode of Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt. If you want to learn more about this hunt and others, go to ReaperOutdoors.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Become part of Reaper Nation. It's Reaper Zero One. Out. Closed captioning for Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt is being brought to you by Magnolia Hunting Supply. One stop shop for all your tactical, hunting, and survival needs. For more information regarding Reaper Outdoors, go to ReaperOutdoors.com. The website is full of products, apparel, ammo, Reaper collectibles, Reaper hot sauce, and more. Also, don't forget to follow Reaper01 on social media. We'll see you next week on Reaper Outdoors Survive the Hunt.